Hello and good day, Grade 5. How are you today? I hope you're doing great, fun, and good. Okay, so today we will learn about verb to be. Very good. Okay, again, verb to be. So we have S, S, R, R, was, was, and were. Okay, were. Okay, so teacher, teacher, what is verb to be? Okay, so we have here, what is verb to be? Verb to be is a verb, okay, it's a verb linking the subject with its complement. As every sentence in English must have a verb. So teacher, what do you mean about this one here? So it means that that is a linking verb. Or linking, it means joining or helping verb, helping the what teacher? Or linking or joining the what? The subject with its complement. So what is the subject teacher? So that is you, we, or they, or she, or he, or it. So that is the subject. Or I, so that is the subject. And teacher, what is the complement? So complement is means the one who describes the subject. Or sometimes the complement is the one who complete the sentence. And the complement, we know this one sometimes as an adjective, if you know the eighth part of speech. So as every sentence in English must have a verb. So what do you mean about this one, teacher? So it means that all the sentence or in the grammar, all the sentence in English really must have, have a verb. So there, uh, if, you ha, uh, if you have a sentence without the verb, so it means you that sentence is incorrect. Okay, so it's really a uh, need to have a verb in a sentence. Okay, next. To be verb or to be is used in many cases where there is no action described in the sentence. So what do you mean about this one, teacher? So it means in this, uh, we have many situation or many cases, so it means situation where there is no action. So to be verb is used, okay? Or it's describe the sentence, described in the sentence without action, okay? In many cases, so that is the function of the verb to be. So we cannot see here what is action teacher. So we cannot see here running, walking, eating, doing, or making, or any action. Speaking, listening, or like uh, right now you are watching. So there is no action here. Talking here when we use the verb to be. Okay, so example here. He is a teacher. Okay, so here we have the subject. So he and is is the verb to be. A teacher, so teacher, it means your position. So the boy, okay, so he, he is a boy. So the boy is a teacher. So what is the boy? Or what is the position of the boy? So a teacher, so it's described that that boy or this boy is a teacher. So without this one, so this one here is a complement, okay? So this is the complement. So without this one or without the complement, so the sentence will be incomplete okay so next example you are handsome so you okay so okay so how about you or who is you so you are handsome so it described here in the sentence that you you are handsome so here again this is the subject this is the verb to be and this is the again complement okay so who complete the sentence so without this one here so the sentence must be incomplete or not complete okay so next we have I am happy so this one here it means me okay so it described me so I am okay so who am I okay or what is my name so I'm happy okay I am happy so this one here is the subject and this one here is the verb to be but teacher you don't have here um yes I never use this um here because I will use this one here uh, the um for the uh, high school okay so next here, hubby. So that is my name. So it described I. So ah, okay. So that is okay. That is hubby. Okay, or his name is hubby, or I am hubby. Okay. So next, when to use is, are, 
was and were. Okay, so this one here is the question, when to use them. Okay, so when we use them. Okay, so here we have the present and the past. So present, teacher, what do you mean? So that is today. So best example is today. And yesterday is the past. Okay, yesterday. And tomorrow is the future. So example, today is afternoon. So this is present, afternoon. And yesterday, uh, the, yester uh, the past is the morning. So because that is past already, morning. And the future will be the evening. Okay, so the evening. So okay, so we go for the present. So we use here singular. Okay, singular. Okay, only only one. Okay, singular, it means only one. So we use S. Okay, here if you see, we use S. Okay, for what teacher? For singular. Okay, so we have here she. Okay, for the girl. Okay, so she for the girl and he for the boy and it for the animals, things, or places. Okay, so if you have animals, so we can put it. It, okay. It is happy or it is um, it is uh, beautiful. So it means that one is an animal. So your animal is beautiful or maybe that is the place. So that place is beautiful like that. So it, okay, or things. Okay, that is, it is so soft. So maybe that is the teddy bear. The teddy bear is so soft, okay. So S, so soft. Okay, so next we have plural. Okay, so two or more. Okay, so two or more. So it means uh, more than one. Okay, for singular, only one. For plural, two or more. So here we use R. Okay, so we use R. So I. Okay, so I, we not uh, use this one R, so it's wrong. So if I R, so I is only for am. Okay, so don't forget. I am. Okay, so we have here you. Okay, you are. So you can say you are. Um, you are energetic. Okay, so that one. You are energetic. What is or what about you? So you are energetic. Okay, energetic. Okay, so you are a PC. We use R here. So you cannot US. Okay, US energetic. So it's wrong. Okay, so don't forget. So we use the U for R. Okay, we. Okay, including me. So this this one here. This word is including me. So. Um, example, uh, Pumin, Tanyawi, uh, Teacher Ann, and me, Habi. Okay, so we. We go to, or we are the grade 5 students. Okay, so, or we are the te teachers in what Borapa. Okay, so that's one. We are. Okay, we are. Okay, the students. Okay, students. We are the students. So, what are they or what, what are we? So, you must ask, what are we? So we are the students. Okay, students. So here is plural. Okay, noun, students. Because we, we, we use your plural subject. So are, okay. So again, we use are. So you cannot say we is. Okay, we is the student. So it's wrong grammar. Or we am the student. So it's wrong, okay. So we, we are the students. Okay, so they. Okay, so they not include me. So maybe that is for na, for na pin. Pumin or Tanyawi and Teacher An, so not including me, so I'm out of this one. They, they, so only you. Okay, so that is the use of plural R. We use R, and this one here is singular. We use S for she, he, it, and for the plural I, you, we, they. Okay, so next we go to the past. So again, the past is yesterday or um, in the morning. So now we are afternoon. So in the present, we are afternoon. So in the past, we are morning. In the present, we are today. In the past, that is yesterday. Okay? So again, singular. Only one. Okay? We use was. Okay? For only one. Only one what teacher? Only one subject here. Okay? So I put here an. Okay? For the girl. Tanya we. Okay? For the boy. Okay? So he. Okay? And dog for it. Okay? So animals. Okay? The dog was barking. Okay, example. Here, okay, the dog was barking. King, okay, bark. Okay, barking. Or the dog was sick. Okay, sick yesterday. Okay, so it was sick yesterday. Okay, so I don't put the dog. So you can say it. It was sick yesterday. So it means dog. Okay, 
sa dog. Okay, so Tanya we is is tall. Okay, sa example, Tanya we is tall. Okay. Tall. When Okay, tall when he is, okay, when Okay, tall when he is in grade K4. Okay, so in grade 4, when? Okay, so if you see, we have here when. So, this is the complement, tall, and you are the subject. And is, okay, so it's uh, was, sorry, was. Okay, so that is the, again, the verb to be for the past. Tall, when, so this is the clue here, when, in, when. Uh, Tanya, we was tall when he is in grade 4. When he is grade 4, okay. When he is grade 4, okay, so... Tanya, we was tall when he is in grade 4, okay, in grade 4. So it means when you are grade 4. So now you are not grade 4, so you are now grade 5. So maybe you're not tall or maybe you're taller, more taller, okay. So that is the example. Okay, so example, uh, an is, okay, was a teacher. Was a teacher in what? Burapa, okay. Okay, so okay, so this is our school here. So was a teacher in what Burapa? So maybe she was she. She was a teacher. Okay, if you change this one into pronoun, so she because she is a girl. So an. Okay, so an. Okay, an. So here, if you see, so an was a teacher in what Burapa? So maybe now an is not a teacher. So maybe he retired. She retired, or maybe she moved to another school. So in the past, okay, so was, okay, here, was, okay, so in the past, in the past only, so we're talking about past here, okay, so was, okay, a teacher, so maybe now, she, yeah, she retired, or maybe she uh, go to another, or went to another school, okay, so next, we have plural, two or more, so this one is two or more, we use were, okay, in the past, for the past, okay, for the past tense, okay, so sample, the students, Okay, so if you see, we have S, okay? So why we have S to it S teacher? Okay, so because we use S because is this is a plural, okay? Plural noun. Okay, so example, uh, the students is on vacation, uh, was, were on vacation, okay? So example here, we're on vacation. So, okay, we're on vacation, okay, last, okay, last year. So maybe on last year you have vacation, but now you do vacation, but now you don't have it, okay? Or it passed already, okay? So you, the students, okay, were on vacation. So last year, so that is last year. So the clue here that is passed last year. So why we use were? Because we have a lot here. We are plural students, okay? That is plural. So we're on vacation. So example, my classmates, my classmates were were uh, not not in class okay yesterday okay so yesterday so were because classmates okay so why we use were because we have here the plural okay so the plural classmates so we're not in class yesterday so maybe yesterday okay they go to the malls or they playing football, volleyball, did not attend their class, so they are not in the class, okay, yesterday. So the clue here is the yesterday, okay? So I, I tell you that past is the yesterday, and today is the present, and the future will be the tomorrow, okay? But for the days, okay, so you can say that the morning is the past, okay? So the past, and because right now is afternoon, so this time is afternoon. So we are poor. 26 or 16 26 p.m. Okay, so next we have okay the teacher a teacher were were um were were in their okay holidays okay so the teacher were in their holidays okay so the teacher is on uh where on their okay holidays okay so it means that the teacher right teachers right now is in the holidays or on their holidays so there because there are a lot okay so more than again more than 
More than what? More than one. Okay, so that is plural because the teacher is plural. So we use were. Okay, the teachers were on their holidays. Okay, so we're on their holidays. Example, you can put here. Okay, um, last week. So in last week, maybe we don't have class. Okay, okay, so last week. Okay, so we're on their holidays last week. Okay. So the teachers, okay, so who is on the holidays? The teachers, okay, so again, this is the teacher here is the plural, okay? Teachers is more than two here because we have S and we use were because for the past, okay, past to be verb, okay, for the plural, past, okay? So don't forget were. For the one person, so we use, okay, if you see was, okay, so don't be confused. Okay, so next. Next, we have friends. Okay, my friends, my friends, uh, or my friends were um, playing. Okay, were, or were, uh, my friends were um, having, okay, or making. Or my friends uh, ma uh, ma making their uh, homework or worksheet. My friends were okay. Were finish. Okay, sorry, finish. My friends were finish their their home their finish their. So my friends were finish their worksheet. Okay, worksheet. Example. Okay. Uh, yeah, last night. Okay, last night. So last night is the past. Okay, here. So you can determine because it's a past. Okay, so worksheet. Okay, so finish. Okay, my friends pini were finish. Okay, their worksheet last night. Okay, so my friends were finish. Okay, were finish their um um were finish their uh, worksheet last night okay so where because they finished already or they done already their worksheet last night or my friends were done okay or done their worksheet last night we're done sorry we're done their worksheet last night okay so my friends were done their worksheet last night okay we're done okay the worksheet you can say also the worksheet last night Okay, my friends were done the worksheet last night. Okay, the worksheets. Okay, so my friends, because you have a lot. So maybe this one here is a lot of worksheets. Okay, so worksheets last night. Okay, so last night here. Okay, if you see, so last night. So that is the past. Okay, so that is the clue. So I give clue always for you. So that is easy for you to determine if it is a past or not. So again, my friends, so that is a plural. And we use were. Okay, what? Okay, what they will do or what they do or the complement here. Okay, they done. Okay, done the what? The worksheet last night. Okay, done. My friends were done the worksheet last night. Okay, so it's depend on how you build your sentence. But this one here, you must use where if it is in the past. Okay, done or you cannot use uh, ing because the ing is for the um, present action. Okay. Verb. Okay, so we cannot use that one. So here I use the I point put, put verb here. Okay, done here. So if you see the worksheet last night, but if you see, I use here the were. Okay, were because this one is plural. Okay, so that is the important. Don't forget. Okay, class. So that is all for today, and thank you.